Hello friends, welcome back to my YouTube channel and lock your learning. In this video, we are going to solve ICSE Mathematics Class 7 Chapter 19 Speed, Time and Distance Exercise 19A Question 11, right? It says, a truck and a bus started off at 10.30 a.m. from opposite ends of a highway. The truck traveled at a speed of 40 km per hour and the bus traveled at a speed of 54 km per hour. If they passed each other at 1 p.m., what was the length of the highway fine so basically a truck okay and a bus both of these things they started off at the same time on a highway fine and uh, eventually they met each other at 1 pm fine the time at which they met was 1 pm okay and they started off at 10 30 am this also is there given and the ends were opposite right that uh, then only they were able to meet them at 1 pm now it says that uh, the bus, uh, the truck was traveling at a speed of 40 kilometers per hour, fine. And the bus was traveling at a speed of 54 kilometers per hour. So what is the distance of the highway? What is the length of the highway? So uh, just uh, understand it like this. If this is the highway, so the bus starts from here, the truck starts from here. Both of them start from the opposite ends. Both of them start at the same time. That is what? 10.30 a.m. Fine. They started and the bus travels, let's say, till here. And the truck also travels still here. Both of them travel uh, at one point and this is where they meet. Fine. And you can see the time taken by them to meet here is 1 p.m. Okay. The bus is traveling at a speed of what? Um, the bus is traveling at a speed of 54 kilometers okay, per hour and the truck at 40 kilometers per hour. Now we have to find the distance of the entire highway that is from this end to this end fine okay so first of all uh, now uh, imagine it yourself what would you do if you would have been here at the at my place first we add this distance then we add this distance because uh, uh, all together we cannot take it out because there are two separate uh, vehicles through which we have to take it out so that means we will add the speed in two parts the first distance will be the distance traveled by the bus the second distance will be the distance traveled by the truck and you can see the not the total distance but the distance taken uh, traveled by them till 1 pm fine so first we uh, need to know the time they took to travel fine the time taken by them to meet right to meet means to uh, 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 what do you say sorry to pass right so to pass here fine they passed each other at 1 pm fine so we can mention it here that to pass Okay, so the time taken by them. Now, how do we calculate this? This is very important because without this, our question is incomplete. This time only will be used to calculate the speed of the bus and the speed of the, uh, sorry, the distance traveled by the bus and the distance traveled by the truck. Fine. So, uh, how do we calculate it? See, this bus uh, started at 10, uh, 10.30 a.m. Right. So, uh, and the truck also started at 10.30 a.m. Fine. So, from 10.30 a.m. to 1 p.m they traveled and the bus traveled from 10 30 to 1 pm as well so this much time between 10 30 and 1 will be the time we will use to calculate the distance so for calculating that 1 pm minus 10 30 am right so you can uh, do the calculation work okay i can do it mentally as well so this becomes uh two hours right two hours and 30 minutes all right this is what it will be Okay, so this means that bus traveled 2 hours and 30 minutes to pass the truck. The truck traveled 2 hours and 30 minutes to pass the bus. Alright, uh, now we know the time. The time is 2 hours 30 minutes. So that will be 2 1 by 2 hours and that becomes 4 1 5 by 2 hours, right? How come 2 1 by 2 hours? Because 2 hours complete are there. 30 minutes is half of an hour. So 1 by 2 hours. Alright, now. Uh, this becomes our time. This will be the time we'll use for calculating the distance. Now we know speed of bus. Let's calculate the bus first. So speed of bus equals to 54 kilometers per hour, right? Bus travel at a speed of, right, 54. So calculate the distance. Distance becomes speed into time, fine. So S into T, I'll write in short. So that becomes 54 into 5 by 2. Cancel this, cancel this, 7, right. So what does it give you? Uh, uh, this becomes 7, 5, 35 and 3. So 
5 to 10 and 313 135 km so the bus has traveled a distance of 135 km that is from here till here this was what 135 km that that is what we have calculated now we will find the distance the truck has traveled okay this was traveled by the bus now comes the uh, the truck fine so the truck has traveled the time for truck uh, taken will be the same thing right so time will be same here as well 5 by 2 hours because both of them started at the same time and passed each other at the same time and you see now the speed of the truck is different speed of truck that is 40 kilometers so distance equals to s uh, s into t fine s into t and that becomes what 40 into 5 by 2 cancel this 20 so this becomes 20 into 500 kilometers all right this is the distance traveled by the truck okay now here i'll input this as well that is 100 kilometers okay now you yourself think if we have to calculate it from here till here this much is 135 this much is 100 so what will be the total distance 135 plus 100 add both the distances right so just do that uh, so basically this will be your length of the highway fine so length of the highway becomes what uh, add both the distances right uh, so distance of truck plus distance of bus all right and that becomes 135 sorry this is okay let's uh, just do it as it is all right 135 plus 100 so that becomes 235 kilometers right this is the distance of or you can say the total length of your highway 235 kilometers all right and friends this is all for today if you are new to my youtube channel do not forget to subscribe and leave a like on this one till then take good care of yourselves and bye